Yo, what up street dogs there? Camera, all right, the thought. I'm probably the most motivated person I know, so the question is, why is Eric Kim so motivated? How do I stay motivated and so forth? So, my thought. So, if you go on wiktionary.org and search motivation, the word is actually motus, means, you know, to move, quite literally to move. And so if we consider that, what that means is, You don't need motivation in order to move. You just move, that's, that's the, the, the goal. The goal is movement. The more you could move, move physically, move your fingers to type, the more you can move your thoughts, like swift thoughts, turbo thoughts, like Kanye says, uh, or to move weight, to move your ass out of bed, to start the day, whatever it may be, to walk around. It's all about movement, right? And so the better question, rather than thinking about oh, how to mo motivate myself, is just how to get myself to move. So, some thoughts. First and foremost, one thing I used to do, not so much anymore, but this is actually works pretty good. Have a morning routine where you just order a coffee at the local Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever and then rather than making a cup of coffee at home you go out to external institution to pick your up coffee then go back home so at least this way you just get out of your house and you could kind of move around a bit right and it's my thought that it's better to go out a lot of times intermittently throughout the day for like 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, 30 minutes here, an hour or two there, rather than having to be out all day for like eight hours straight. And some ways to walk more. Is uh, like part of it is a, like a practical thing too. So for example, uh, I live, I don't know, maybe like a 15 minute walk, 20 minute walk to the closest park that I just worked out at. And it's nice because every time I go to the park, I enjoy working on This is the thing too, you gotta, you gotta go want to go out and do something, not because you're kind of socialized into thinking that's good for you or whatever, but just because you genuinely like it. So for me, I like working out, and you know, I always meet homeboys at the park, so I could have a fun chat with them. And I, I think having a combination of physical fitness and socialization is great. So like, this is actually one of the good things I like about the gym. It's not just the working out, but actually the meeting people, making new friends, shooting the shit, whatever you want to call it. And so that's a, a good thing. And also, even though I'm a big fan of saving money and cooking at home, now with the whole COVID situation, a lot of local businesses are actually quite suffering, coffee shops, whatever. So in some ways, moving money and the best way to stimulate the economy, the local economy, is actually to pay your monies to these institutions, like go out, buy coffee, go out, have dinner, or order takeout, whatever it may be. But don't pay Instacart or DoorDash, whatever. Go out yourself and uh, actually get the food yourself and have to walk over or drive over. Yes, sir. Vlog, Yo, what's up, man? I like Rob the dreads, bro. Out here from PVD, man. PVD, you know, baby. Man. What's up, man? Big PVD. Big PVD. Yeah, so uh, put yourself in a position where you could actually enjoy the walk and take along your camera and take some pictures. And catch some nice sunsets. So, so that, that, that's, a, that's a big thing is uh, use this opportunity, catch some nice sunsets to do some uh, thinking and and actually I think a big thing is for me one of my greatest joys in life is to just walk believe it or not and so actually being able to live in a city which allows you to walk and I'm actually not a huge like I used to bike right like, I used to have like a road bike and stuff like that but now I'm actually more of a fan of walking because Walking is actually much more natural. It's better for our hips, shoulders, our backs, our hips, whatever, knees, ankles, whatever. And riding a bike is great because it's much more efficient to get from point A to point B. But, you know, in so far as much as you can, it's actually way safer to walk than bike because, you know, every bicycle knows this is that like cars, 
you know, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, right? It's like you're, you're a car driving, you see a bicyclist, every bicyclist you hit, you get extra points. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, either most drivers are fucking idiots and they're intentionally might try to cut you off or actually they might just not be seeing you. They might be texting and driving. So I don't, that's why I don't ride a bicycle anymore. I would never ride a motorcycle because everyone else out there is just like an idiot. And uh, I don't want to die. I want to live to be 133 in robust health. So what is we to do about this situation? So my thought is, you know, go out, walk as much as you can. And even going to downtown places where you see other human beings, I think there is, I mean, certainly at the end of the day, we're humans. We like the social company of other people. And therefore, put yourself in ways where you could kind of meet other people in public. You know, obviously you could put on your face mask or just walk, you know, 20 feet away from people and just say hello and stuff like that. And so this could be a good opportunity for you to, you know, flex your social skills, get out there and interact with the world and stuff like that. And so maybe the desire is to see new things, photograph new things. And this is where I think street photography is so great because it's obviously very hard to shoot street photography, you're just kind of stuck at home. But if you do small little day trips to places X, Y, and Z, um, I enjoy going to, uh, I went to New Haven recently, visited the Yale campus, downtown New Haven, really cool city. I'm a big fan. I think it's like downtown late vibes mixed with like, kind of a little bit of New York City, Chicago. It's, it's really good food scene too, good pizza. And so yeah, learn how to love to walk, enjoy uneven surfaces, stuff like that. The best walking shoes have no sole on the bottom. So opt for soleless shoes. You know, typically shoes with a lot of foam, there's less sensation. This is my thought. The more like barefoot you go with your shoes and with walking and stuff like that, the more like, it's almost like a free massage for your feet. And I think there's actually a lot of intelligence in your feet. So the more you go to walk, the more you can stimulate your feet the more you could give creative genesis to new ideas. So, yeah, so I would just really encourage you at the end of the day to go out more, shoot more. Maybe the secret to motivation is street photography.